and giving us a lot of impact in regards to this rain it's producing for all of us here countywide, even Southern California as a whole, as a collective, and then parts of the desert southwest as well. So everybody in this four corners here really feeling the impacts of tropical storm uh, Hillary here. So she carried a lot of strength. It was a hurricane Hillary in category four, and then as it traveled up to cooler water, it uh, weakened, thankfully so, and now a tropical storm is what it's going to be as it continues on passing through our region and giving us uh, some rain. So there you have where it's at currently. This is in real time, the radar sweep. A good chunk of our county, all those neighborhoods you see covered in green, currently getting some rain uh, dumped at them right now. So anywhere between light to moderate rain is a green, but if you see any pockets of yellow, that's uh, moderate to heavy rain and isolated at that time. So while yes, everyone's getting some rain, the chunk of the heaviest stuff is going to be periodic in some areas until about uh, 3 o'clock. So 3 to about 6 is when that eye of that storm, of the tropical storm, will be centered over our region there and that in turn is why we're going to see gusty winds strong strong winds and a period of a lot of heavy rain coming in countywide won't be isolated will be countywide kind of getting that dumping a lot of water being dumped at once obviously poses for some flash flood concerns which is why that is our main concern here in san diego flash flood and then second to that is wind gusts the wind speeds they're picking up if you add all that water dropping in that's obviously this is what we're dealing with supercast will show you it's going to be dumping in water starting in the next couple hours here and as i said by noon time you can see all the yellow and red areas there that's heavy pockets of rain coming down just east of our uh, deserts and mountains there and then you see widespread green and then there's the eye of the storm at two o'clock three o'clock sweeping through our area going into Orange County and then up to LA and continuing on its track there so as you see the motion you can kind of make where the storm is headed so it's going to do that sweep and that convection and into that funnel I told you about and exiting strategy strategy out of our region which is good it's a fast moving storm we need it to be a fast moving storm so it doesn't stay in our county uh, too long. But then by Monday, you could say, safe to say by Monday, 10 a.m., things kind of die out, and this is now the remnants of tropical storm. So we're dealing with just a few more rain showers pulling all uh, out of that before we can say we're it's all said and done and over with. But even when the storm leaves, we're still dealing with the aftermath, right, the cleanup. So uh, while you live in the beach or inland areas, it's the mountains that uh, is going to pose some concern because of the vegetation, the dry uh, vegetation there. So the mountains really play a key factor here in regards to this rain storm that we're having and that in turn is what's going to be uh, we're going to keep an eye on even moving forward so yes it'll pass through a good chunk of Sunday afternoon and then into Monday over our Sunday overnight is going to be the big biggest uh, key points here with this tropical storm sweeping through and dumping in all these the water here and rain and then by Monday morning it's just the leftovers of it so it won't be too bad but keep in mind the, the wind also is what we're keeping an eye on so the wind speeds will also be peaking at that hour as you see covered in red and orange we're not used to seeing this a widespread with wind gusts the way they are. So that's why we're concerned and National Weather Service has issued a tropical storm watch for all of our county because that's we're having a, a two elements there that we need to keep on heavy rain and heavy gusty winds. Okay, so temperature wise, we're still keeping things in the moderate level. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be cooler weather or, or cold weather. It's not winter. It is still summer. So we're dealing with the mugginess and all of that. So here's your afternoon highs, your for microclimate forecast for the rest of the period as we get through tropical storm Hillary. Okay, so coastal 79, inland 84, mountain 68, desert nice 85 degrees there. I'll send it back to you guys. And when I